Hey everyone, welcome to Tech Quiet. In this video, we are going to solve problem number 989, add to array form of integer. So now we will see the logic and the code for this problem. Now let's dive into the solution. This is one of the examples that has been given in the code website. So at first, we need to concatenate all the values in my input array. So if I concatenate, I'm going to get 215, right? Then I need to add k to it, which is nothing but 806. And if I add them, I'm going to get 1021 here. And I need to return this answer in an array, right? So this is what the question is all about. I'm going to iterate in the backwards of my input array. And I'm going to have a loop that runs only if my k or carry is not equal to zero, right? And then I will initialize carry as zero at the start. So now let's begin. First, I will check whether my current index is not out of range. That means it is not less than zero. If it is not less than zero, I'm going to update my carry with the current value. So what I will do is I will add carry and the current value that is 5. So the current carry value is 0 and the current value is 5. And, and I will update that in my carry which is 5 now. Then I will perform modulo operation on k by 10. Then I will add carry to it. So if I do this, I will get 6, that is the reminder, plus carry, that is 5, and I'm going to get the new value as 11. So this is my new value, right? New value is 11. Now again, after performing this calculation after getting the new value i'm going to perform floor operation on the new value so if i perform floor operation on new value i will get a new carry right new value floor operation by 10 that is divide so i will get one here and to get the reminder I will perform modulo operator on my new value then I'm going to get one again so basically we are getting a new value by performing this calculation then I am again performing floor operation and modulo operation to get my quotient and the reminder then I need to check whether I is within the input array so here it is within the range right it is pointing to the last index. So I'm going to replace the last index with the reminder. So I'm going to replace with one here. Then I will decrease my I pointer. After moving my I pointer, I will update my K by 10. Basically, we are discarding the last integer. So now my k value is 80, right? And my new carry is 1. So the carry is updated here. My carry is 1 now. Now the loop runs for the next iteration. Now I will check whether my i is within the range. Yes, it is within the range. It is pointing to the first index. So I'm going to take the value of the first index that is 1. So here it is 1. Then I'm going to add carry to it. That is 1 again. And I'm going to update this value in my carry. So it is going to be 2 now. My carry is 2 now. Then I'm going to implement this formula. So 80 mod 10, I'm going to get 0. Right? Plus carry, that is 2. So this is my new value, that is 2. New value is 2. Now I will perform floor operation on new value by 10 to get my 
new carry so if i perform floor operation on 2 i'm going to get 0 then i will perform modulo operator on new value by 10 so i'm going to get 2 itself then i need to check whether my i pointer is within the range yes it is pointing to one of the index so i'm going to replace that value with the reminder value so here it becomes 2 right now i'm going to update my k so my k becomes 8 and my new carry is 0 so the new carry is 0 so i'm updating my carry now i move my i pointer so for the next iteration i need to check whether my i is pointing to one of the index yes it is pointing to 0 so i'm going to take the value 2 and i'm going to add carry to it that is 0 and i'm going to update this value in my carry so which will become 2 now so my carry is 2 now so now i'm going to use this formula so 8 mod 10 which is i'm going to get 8 itself then plus carry that is 2 so i'm going to get new value as 10 now i'm going to perform floor operation on the new value to get my carry and the reminder so if i perform floor operation on new value i'm going to get 1 my reminder will be 0 if i perform modulo operation on the new value now i need to check whether my i pointer is pointing to one of the index in the input array yes it is pointing to 0 so i'm going to update my 0th index value with the reminder so here it becomes 0 then i'm going to update my k so if i do that i'm going to get 0 then i'm going to update my new carry that is 1 now i'm done with the input array but my carry is 1 my carry is not 0 yet that is 1 to be updated so until my carry is not equal to 0 i will run the loop now i'm since i've done with my input array my i'm not going to update my carry so i'm just directly will come to the formula if i do k mod 10 i'm going to get 0 plus the carry that is 1 so this is my new value that is 1 so again i'm going to perform floor operation and modulo operation to get my carry and the reminder so if i perform a floor operation my carry will be zero and if i perform modulo operation my reminder will be one now i need to check whether i am out of range or not yes my i is out of range already so what i will do is if my i is out of range I will insert the reminder at the start in the zeroth index. So I will I will just push other values in my input array to the right. So I will just add one to the front. So I will just add one to the front. Then I will return now. Right? So basically this formula is nothing but the we are getting the unit digit in my k and then we are just adding the carry right now let's dive into the code before we code if you guys haven't subscribed to my channel please like and subscribe this will motivate me to upload more videos in future and also check out my previous videos and keep supporting guys so first i will initialize carry as zero then i'm initializing my i pointing to the last index right now i will run the loop if k is not equal to 0 or carry is not equal to 0 then i will check if my i is within the range within the input array the index if it is within my input array i'm going to add the current value with the carry then i'm going to 
get my new value from the formula that is carry plus k mod 10 then i'm going to get my carry and reminder using the div mod function so basically it returns my quotient and the reminder right using the new var i'm going to perform those operations by 10 so basically it returns my quotient and the reminder now i will check whether my i is within the range if it is within the range i'm going to add the reminder in the ith place else if i'm done with the input array then i'm going to insert the reminder in the zeroth index which means i will append that i will insert that reminder in the front of my input array then i'm going to move my i pointer i'm going to decrease my i pointer then i'm going to update my k finally i'm going to return the input array i think it's fine let's run the code As you guys see, it's pretty much efficient. So the time and space complexity will be between the max of the number of elements in the input array and the log of k, right? Thank you guys for watching this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Keep supporting. Happy learning. Cheers, guys.